with all the latest in news, sports, and entertainment. You're watching the Boone TV Buzz, Iowa's most watched high school news show. Hello Boone High and welcome back to the Boone TV Buzz. Thank you for joining us for this week's new show where we will be bringing you all the latest in news, sports, and entertainment from this past week. Let's take a look at what has BHS buzzing. The peer helpers here at BHS have set up their annual mitten tree fundraiser. Boone TV's Emma Van Sickle has more on how you can get involved. BHS is constantly trying to find new and better ways to be involved with the community. One of these returning ways is the mitten tree. Uh, this is our third year and it was just uh, our peer tutors and peer helpers um, mostly do tutoring is the big function they serve, but we wanted to do something where they were um, having an outreach to the community. So the mitten tree was formed out of that. The mitten tree has many goals that are all focused on helping the community. Well, it's an effort to provide some warm weather apparel, uh, hats, gloves, mittens, and scarves for families that need those things in the Boone area. Different ways you can get involved, all of which would help. Well, when you're out shopping, if you see some good deals on any of those items, purchase them and donate them to us. And we're taking donations through December 10th. And at that point, we'll take the, all the items to uh, impact on, and uh, they will distribute them to the families that need them. For the season of giving, think about giving back to the community. This has been Emma Vansicle from Boone TV. Decker recently had several successful performances during last month's district competition. Boone TV reporter Holden Williams has more on this story. On Monday, November 12th, DECA students competed in their district competition. Three students placed in the top seven. Kylie Brogdon placed second in restaurant and food service management. Katherine Smith placed third in food service marketing. And Alyssa Kassensmith received honorable mention. Mrs. Wolf has high expectations for students competing in DECA. DECA has impacted me by giving me different opportunities to meet new people, learn different skills that I'll be using outside in the real world, and showing me that there are other things in the business aspect and entrepreneurship and such. DECA has impacted me by letting me meet new people from different schools, and it's really helped me to get out of my shell and get out of my comfort zone and learn how to talk to different people. DECA is a career and technical student organization that allows students to um, work on their leadership and professional skills through different role plays and scenarios that would happen in the real life. Mrs. Wolf and Mr. Byam both view DECA as an excellent opportunity for students to develop their leadership skills. I think DECA is really important because it helps develop um, business skills, leadership skills, uh, entrepreneurship. Um, kind of works on all those aspects um, and leadership and so it's really important to get those core skills uh, for students to uh, learn um, how to be involved kind of like in the real world aspects when it comes to business. DECA has taught me a lot of leadership skills and definitely taught me a lot more about the business world than I thought and taught me how to dress during an interview and things like that. The DECA students enjoyed the chance to network and develop their real world skills Someone should join DECA because it is an awesome opportunity to learn different business skills and different employability skills that you can use later in life, whether it is for business or any other type of job you are willing to go into and you're wanting to go into. So it is an op awesome opportunity to gain those employability skills. If you are looking to develop your business skills, consider joining DECA. This has been Holden Williams from Boone TV. Well, students and teachers have recently gained success on a popular media platform. Boone TV reporter Tyson Kroll has more on their YouTube careers. Since 2005, YouTube has blown up and become a regular part of our everyday lives. Several people at Boone High have their own channels. 
Josiah Gaynor is one of the students here at Boone High with little experience making money on YouTube. Uh, I saw some videos last year on YouTube and um, they said that anyone can start a YouTube channel and uh, I wanted to start a YouTube channel. Uh, I make compilations of Fortnite and there's few of them out there and that's people can watch some Fortnite highlights and compilations. But YouTube videos don't magically come to be. There is a process. What I do is I record with Elgato game capture card and then I export the video into iMovie and do all the editing in iMovie and then I export the edited video to YouTube and that's how I edit my videos. YouTube ranges from all ages too. Boone High's Spanish teacher, Senor Salen, has his own podcast on YouTube with some friends. I don't really focus as much on what people, what others would want to see. I just make the things I want to see because it's, you know, my YouTube channel is really just something that I'm doing for myself and, and because, uh, like, I, I have really strong opinions about the things that I cover on my YouTube channel, board games. So I have really strong opinions about them and I want to be able to share them. Uh, but a lot of the videos that are on my channel are just like videos that I only expect people to really listen to and not really watch. So um, I guess, you know, there's a little bit of that too. But uh, so what you'll find is you'll have find extremely long videos that not many people watch because they're mainly just listened to when people are like working at their job or something that turn it on. YouTube is a great platform with many possibilities. Be sure to check out Josiah's channel, Brink of Collapse, and Senior Silence channel, The Good, The Bored, and The Ugly. This has been Tyson Kroll from Boone TV. Last Friday, December 7th, the boys and girls basketball teams traveled to Ballard as they looked to gain success in the court. Boone TV reporters Quentin Wilson and Victoria Lewis have your recaps. The boys and girls basketball teams are at Ballard tonight to take on the Bombers. The boys are looking to put a stop to Ballard's offense and hoping to snatch their first conference dub. What are the girls looking to do? The girls are looking to increase their four game winning streak to five by attacking the hoop. Let's get to the highlights. The Ballard Bombers got a quick lead when Maggie Larson found Josie Fleshman under the hoop for the two. The Bombers continued to increase her lead when freshman Brooke Lowe drove to the basket for a deuce. Ballard continued to pull away ending the first quarter 9-16. The doors were determined for a comeback after freshman Emmy Lewis splashed a three from the corner. Boone continued to rack up their points, climbing out of their deficit from a 14-point run, ending the half 23-20. The Bombers came strong straight out of the locker room with back-to-back -back layups. Ballard continued to increase the lead throughout the third and fourth quarters. Boone handed over their first loss of the season, 40-54. This has been Victoria Lewis from Boone TV Sports. Ballard opened up the game with a three for the first points of the game, but Boone answered back with their own points from seniors Justin Aspengren and Brett Price. Aspengren continued to pound the paint with a trio of deuces allowing Boone to take the lead. Ballard put a stop to the Toyodor run by making both free throws, but Aspengren returned with a deep two along with senior Alex Sturtz for the Toyodors, ending the quarter with a lead of three. Ballard started off the second quarter by taking the lead for the first time in the game with a 3 and a 2. After holding the lead for much of the quarter, Sturtz bullied his way to the hoop, snatching the rebound and draining the ball, tying the score up 23 to 23 into halftime. The Bombers opened up the second half with deuces from Connor Drew and Chase Winterborn taking the lead. Boone senior Brandon Rouse fired back with a 3 of his own, narrowing the Bomber lead to 1. But Ballard continued to pound the paint, sealing the lead 40-29 heading into the fourth. Boone started a comeback with shots from Price, Sturtz, and Rouse, bringing the Bomber lead down to three. The Toreadors kept the score close by returning with a shot of their own after every Bomber score. But the Bombers secured the win by making free throws at the line by a score of 47-43. Boone was led in scoring by Aspengren with 18 points and two assists. You can catch the Toreadors next game at 7.30 tomorrow night at home. This has been Quentin Wilson from Boone TV Sports. Two Doors is back this week with their thoughts on a brand new sequel to a popular animated movie. Here is Boone TV's Andrew Eli and Joey Wilczak with their review of Ralph Breaks the Internet.
Ralph breaks the internet. Shouldn't it be Ralph wrecks the internet? Yes, yeah, since he is wreck it, Ralph. Uh, yeah, but break the internet, it's like a thing. Right, it's just wreck the internet kind of sounds better, doesn't it? Mm, you're not wrong. Hey, Boone, hi, I'm Joey Wilsack. And I'm Andrew Eli, and this is Two Doors in a Movie. Today we'll be talking about the new movie, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Ralph Breaks the Internet is the sequel to Wreck-It Ralph. The story has Ralph and Penelope go into the internet to find parts for Penelope's game. While on the internet, Ralph and Penelope see how all of the most famous websites in the world would actually look like if they were buildings. As the movie progresses, Penelope and Ralph's friendship is tested in some of the strangest ways. Even though the movie was geared for younger viewers, it had moments in the movie that only the older viewers would understand, which allowed all ages to enjoy the movie. I give this movie a 7 out of 10. I like how throughout the movie, you saw cameos of Disney, Marvel, and real life YouTubers. So this let everybody in the audience connect with the movie in some way. And the way they made the websites look in the Wreck-It Ralph world was really cool. Though it had its good points, the main problem felt forced, and they were doing it all they could to make it work to me, the ending needed more information because it left off with some big questions. Yeah. I give this movie a 6 out of 10. The new characters in the movie were very creative and were a great addition to the movie, allowing more emotional scenes to be put into the movie. Plus, throughout the movie, there were moments that made the whole audience laugh, which was great because most of the movie was about something bad. While the movie had its high points, the story had a few plot holes making parts of the movie hard to understand. I also think that they should have focused on what was happening to the arcade along with the internet side of the story because there were events in the movie that weren't explained because we didn't see what was happening in the arcade. That's all for this review. Check back next time for our review on the new movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. With the holiday season in full swing, Boone TV's Tyson Kroll was curious to see what you have on your wish list this year. Here is the fan favorite question of the week. Question of the week. Question of the week. Wow, I wish my dad would give me the stereo system for Christmas. This is what I want my mom to get me for Christmas. What do you want for the holidays? I would like a new gaming laptop with eight gigabytes of RAM and a six gigahertz processing system. Uh, I want a book. I definitely want a huge, bouncy castle. <laughs> Whoa, dude. I want a 3DS. I want for Christmas is Super Smash Brothers for the Switch. Lots of movies. I want a brand new car. A new car! Uh, for Christmas, I'd have to ask Santa for some new fun socks, because I'm running low. Uh, for Christmas, I want a healthy relationship. I want a rhinoceros for Christmas. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I want a skateboard. Christmas story leg lamp. I want a Red Rider BB gun. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Question of the week! Thank you for joining us for this week's new show. We will be back next week with all the latest buzz at BHS. In the meantime, please head over to BoonTV.com to check out all of our videos and written stories. While there, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And now, from all of us at Boone TV, make sure you stay safe, stay cool, and have a wonderful week, Boone High.